So previously we had created two planes. This one to test propellers. I don't think I want to... Well, ducted fan might be an interesting thing. Hmm, I definitely have never tried a ducted fan plane. But I don't like that the propellers don't seem to make any sound. That might be corrected in 1.8.1, which I don't have yet because I want my, um, my precious backstory. So, the configuration I was thinking of, well, let's see, um, let's unlock Mark II cockpit, I think. That may or may not be the best idea. What I wanted to do was have two pivoting center mount jet engines and then a high wing. Because otherwise, if you have a low wing, the, the thrust of the jet engines will brush across the wing, right? So you have to have a high wing in the back. The reason why the wing has to be behind the engines is because the engines are going to be on the center of mass and the center of lift has to be behind the center of mass. I mean, you could use the horizontal, but it's just inconvenient. Otherwise, you're going to have canards and a rear-mounted wing and you didn't need that higher up. One thing you can't do in KSP is making planes. You just can't make them fly. Well, um, I have some history with this. Uh, we may be able to give you a few pointers. Uh, so what I want is, I don't want to put a Kerbal in though, I'm not that confident. So it doesn't look like we have this, the form factor probe core for this. I could use the cargo bay, but let me see, we've got enough science, so let's see if we can unlock some more plane parts. Just so I'm not frustrated missing a few. I guess we can just wipe through this, this line here. There's some more of these propeller blade things and landing gear and... Uh, specialized control. I still don't think we're gonna end up with that probe core, are we? Maybe we do. Oh, this is that docking port I wanted. I sort of want that too. Th these tanks I probably need if I'm gonna use the Mark II cockpit. Oh... Alright, I'll, I'll research that. Um, maybe we'll have one fuel tank in front and one fuel tank behind the cargo bay, have the cargo bay, cargo bay center mounted and the engines next to it. That should keep things reasonably balanced. Making this short is probably for the best. But now this is a pretty heavy cockpit right here. Two tons. We need something in the back that's about two tons to counterbalance it, but not something that'll deplete, ideally. It'd be really mean of me to put the Kerbal Cabin in the tail, but it is two tons. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird configuration, but it is a very balanced configuration. It requires some practice. Let me, let me just go with this. This is all hypothetical right now. And what I need is I need a Rotatron Rotation Servo. I need something that can deal with the power of engines. Wish there was some guidance on how... How much it could carry. We'll go for the middle one first. That's a whole lot of... Well, they've given us these Rotatrons. So, I've made, a long time ago, made uh, VTOLs, but now they've got these things. I don't know if they're a good idea or not. I do want power. <laughs> you know, we don't need these. We need the liquid fuel only ones. And let's have a deploy limit on this. Uh, probably need some room for air intakes there. Can I map it? It says axis groups. Can I map that to an axis? Because I've got all sorts of axes around here. Auto strut option in the right menu. So to, um, back in the day, uh, in order to keep things stable, we had to run little things called struts between parts. And oftentimes rockets in the early days of Kerbal Space Program were mostly struts. <laughs> and then 
And then they made things more stable, and struts became less important to Kerbal Life. And now we have the auto strut option. And the auto strut option basically runs the struts to make things more stable automatically. Magical struts. Invisible struts. So if you see your rocket wiggling or wobbling in weird ways, the auto strut option is there for you. Just don't use the one that connects the heaviest part. <laughs> Usually grandparent part, a root part, you put some... yeah, yeah. Struts were so important that our in-stream currency is, in fact, struts. <laughs> Which actually have an exchange rate to, uh, to real money. Well, I mean, in theory. <laughs> Not in practice, that's for sure. Inputs. Okay, y'all access translate, throttle, incremental. But can I have like a custom one? There's that custom one. If I could control the the vectoring on the the rototron there using an actual joystick axis, that could be very helpful. Hmm. Uh, I don't see that option really. Well, I mean, certainly we could. I could just pin this and go like that. Now, can I create some limits for it? A whole learning process? Only if you want to do this stuff. I mean, in theory, you could do all the stuff you used to do just fine without messing with this business. Um, is it weird that this is seems more complicated than doing animation in Blender or Unity? Um, what 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 am I missing here? That that's the top. That's the bottom. When I press play, it should do the thing, right? This is that servo. It's saying that angle right there. It did that angle, but it's not actually moving the thing. Why not? If I... Why, why is this not moving anymore? It was just a little while ago. I don't... Skip that servo thing. Um... Let's get back into that one. Are you okay? You're not okay anymore. Oh no. What if we get rid of this? What happened that used to work? Is it because this is open? Nope. Oh. It gets more complicated. I click this one, and that one rotates. Click this one. Okay, that one still rotates. Okay. Okay. Why? Oh, great. Okay, yeah, that's totally not glitchy at all. I don't like that controller, I'll just do- uh, you know what, we'll just add something in the back. We need something to close this off a bit. Um, do struts do? Used to be that people purchased launches for them. Let's see... Launch. But it's been a long, long time since any of that happened. That's an updated launch form for use with the Sajita rocket. But it used to be that there were other rockets available. I, I, I forget, adopt the rocket? Was that one? Adopt? Yeah, there's the adopt the rocket form. Well, I think we need to actually put some wingage on here. That'll probably move the center of mass a bit too. Okay, um... Make a Starlink satellite with Falcon 9 rocket? Wouldn't it be like 60 Starlink satellites? Anyway, I'm not supposed to make the satellites. People are supposed to give me the satellites for those. 
and then I just launch him. This is gonna get interesting. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. That that could be too too extreme, right there. A bit. I mean, uh, don't tempt me. I mean. Now look what you've done. <laughs> uh, that, that doesn't look right. There's an X-Wing element to it. I was thinking of just making little... Um, I was thinking of going full X-Wing on it too. Uh, but we've uh, gone over to... Really? Oh, Mass. We've gone over Mass. Gosh darn it. The cargo bay opening sort of clips the wing a little bit. So we want to make sure this is only on pitch, this one is only on roll, and these are only on yaw. Well, at low speed we'll tilt the engine nacelles. Should have enough room for the uh, landing gear. Mounting the rear landing gear is going to be interesting. Maybe we should just have a uh, one wheel landing gear up front. Yeah, I mean that's that's why the VTOL allows for that shorter wing. Otherwise we definitely would need more wing. The problem is where I mount this, these landing gear in relation to the engines, they could get in each other's way a bit. Okay. Um, now we have to reposition the engines so that they're right on the center of mass, of course. And then we'll have to reposition the wing because now they're sort of close to bumping into it. Uh, they don't seem to be flush onto the thing, do they? It looks interesting. This is probably going to cost us a lot of money. <laughs> uh, okay, I need that up. Uh, let's not go full throttle here. Let me get a read on that thrust. We're at 18 tons. Or near enough to it. So we're gonna need afterburning in order to make this work. I should- oh! Or not. Whoa, okay, okay. I think I've learned something. I think I've learned something. The the tail I could I could remove that. Okay, recover. You know what? Not full tilt. Let's have a little bit of forward tilt to it. I'd rather not be rolling backwards under any circumstance. Yeah. Not straight up and down. Let's not do straight up and down. Should be close enough. I'm not sure though. Also, I wanted the afterburning to be on an action group. Hmm, but we only have these normal action groups. Let's call it RCS. <laughs> Switch mode. Right. Well, it's not a tilt rotor, it's a tilt engine. It didn't seem particularly balanced, but we'll see how this works. Oh, what, what, what's the name? Uh, no, don't, don't skid to the side. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 no, ah, no, okay, stop. 
Oh, we lost an edge. Oh, we lost more things. Oh, we lost more things. Only one was tilted? Gosh darn it. Why is... It will deliver fake news in the name of science? But why? Why have you given me such a bad name? <laughs> okay, wait a second. Five degrees, five degrees. They should both be tilted. Um, I really... Maybe we gotta go STOL on this, because this is really annoying. But definitely we need to move these further back. As far back as they can go. It's gotta be a heck of a thing while it turns though. We better be going a little bit faster. Yeah, I wanna have it do without reaction wheels. Let me have quote unquote RCS on. We'll have after burning right from the start here. Oh, we can dump the mop repellent. This might be a bad idea. Uh, uh. Oh, 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 it's doing the- no. We always lose the engines. I don't think this is a good idea. It is just one tilted. Why is this? Current angle zero, target angle negative five. I mean, in here... It tilts both of them. Can somebody tell me why it won't tilt the other one? It's not locked. It is motorized. Well, let's do a not short takeoff and landing version. Let's see how it does just like this. Getting stuck on something? I wouldn't expect so since it doesn't have same vessel interaction. They're in symmetry mode? Well, we'll find out. Let's get it off the ground and then test things. There's no action groups involved. I'm not using action groups. I didn't actually manipulate their tilt. It was just in the VAB. I never actually tilted them. Oh, look at what that did. Did you see that? What does... what is it even... and how is it that when I click on this one, that one is the only one that moves? Does it matter if I click invert direction or not? I've got... I did uh, remove from symmetry. So... Should this one go from like... But see, they both work in here. If I tried to do this, it wouldn't be any good in here. It's the, the angles are like different outside and inside. Again, I'm not gonna tilt them at all. They just need to keep pointing in the same direction they're trying to point right now. Okay, look, I inverted it, I changed it around so that it's the other way around, and it still did this thing. So, screw it! <laughs> We're gonna do VTOL a different way. It just... Can I, why don't I just lock it? Let me just... Okay, it's locked now. Okay, locked. They're not allowed to move. Let's see. Um, it still did it even though I locked it. Okay, um... Unlock. None of these target angles actually works. Let me... Okay, wait. No? I, ch I took it off of invert direction. It still doesn't like any of these numbers. Mm. Oh, that's negative four. This is negative four. But that's not really negative four. 
It says current angle negative 4, but it isn't. It's straight up and down, it's uh, zero. Well, I mean, if it was interfering, this one would be interfered with too. They're symmetrical. But I'll move them up, sure. Okay, so now they, they ought to be clear from any obstructions. There we go, that's the wrong way around. Now that's 177, okay. Okay, so once again, what it shows here is that if we go like this, this is like this, and then it's like that, okay? I'm gonna leave it like this and not touch it. And we'll see what happens. IR, yeah, IR definitely did not work 100% of the time. <laughs> right, right, yeah, that was that was a lot more successful. Yeah, yeah. I think I liked it when it was clipped in and and really smushed up against stuff because you give them space and they they just explode. Okay, F3. Circular intake collided in the surface. Well, that had to have been a little bit later because it was pointing. I mean, it was pretty clear of the surface initially. And everything else is timed later, so somehow the circular intake was the first thing to go. Cover vessel. Mind you, it is costing me money here. There's no, uh, there's no reverting. Okay, more traditional... Beetle. What can I do? 